Chapter 14 What the fuck? Garth yelled after the black guy left. You're shacking up with a stranger after what just happened? Panzer, who had his hand on the closed hotel door, turned back to the little man. What business is it of yours? The police almost found the body, that's what. I had a shit time getting it back into the ceiling. We have to get it out of here before it's found. Panzer took a big step toward him. I'll take care of the body. Even if it is found, you were wearing gloves, so there won't be any fingerprints. For all anyone would know, he fell and broke his neck on the toilet. That's what Dante thinks. Who the fuck is Dante? The guy who just left. You really should pay more attention to the things that go on around you, associate. My name is Garth. Panzer stared at him with wide eyes. Look at you. Kill one person and suddenly you're the lord of the manor. Garth took a deep breath and willed himself to calm down. I didn't kill him. We should have set off the bomb today. I don't feel good about this anymore. Relax. Panzer placed his hand on the little guy's shoulders. We'll do it at the panel. It'll be the perfect time to get her. They'll be in that ballroom above the Araya wing. At least a hundred people will watch her blow up. Garth nodded. That sounds good. We'll place the bomb under the table and blow it. Far from here, Panzer added. Everything will work out. Garth looked at the giant warily. You really did your research, didn't you? I did it for you, bud. For some reason, Garth didn't believe that. Panzer headed for the door again. Where are you going? Garth asked. To Dante's room. Why? Panzer took a deep breath before replying. Because I want to. Are you attracted to him or something? Are you jealous? Garth suddenly saw red. Fuck you! Panzer shook his head and pushed Garth lightly against the chest. Well, lightly for Panzer, but Garth felt like he'd been hit with a sledgehammer. He flew backward and landed on his ass. Panzer stood there for a moment, chuckled, and then headed for the door again. Garth couldn't stop himself. He got to his feet and jumped on Panzer's back. He wrapped his fingers around the giant's throat and squeezed as hard as he could. Panzer actually let out a grunt of surprise. Then he started flailing his arms around, trying to grab Garth. Garth felt his fingers digging into Panzer's neck, almost as if it were dough. Panzer started to freak out, running around the room and bumping into walls. After a few seconds, he dropped to his knees, gasping. Then he fell on his back. Garth had the air crushed out of him as he let go of Panzer. The giant slowly rolled over and looked at Garth with fear in his eyes. How the hell did you do that? Garth didn't know what to say. I was really mad, he managed. Panzer's face was a slowly fading red as he massaged his neck. Jesus, you're stronger than you look. He got to his feet and helped Garth up. Come on, let's just have one beer with Dante and his friends. Then I'll take care of the body.